experience for me. This is my first time seeing you. It is very eye-opening. It's a wonderful experience. <laughs> this can be a question for male or female, for men or, men or women. It's just kind of a general question. I seem to manifest things into my life that are very positive and things that I love, and they come into my vortex. I manifested a very beautiful woman in my life that's very beautiful to the eye, but also through her soul. She's very beautiful. I love her, and I want her physically more and more and more all the time. But how do I get her to see that she manifested me into her life and that she wants me just as much as I want her. You said something really important as you prioritized the beauty that comes from her alignment with the beauty that also comes from her alignment, but it's the manifested version of all of that. In other words, you prioritized which of those beauties matters most. So as you prioritize what you radiate to her, then you'll hook up on that level and then it will be undeniable for her. Logical. Uh, yeah. Very understandable. That was easy. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I understand what you're saying. I mean, I guess just like I manifested her into my life, I guess yeah. I could manifest the same. So it's come so far. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now you want it to go further. Yes, absolutely. And so, since you never get it done and you can't get it wrong, then you do the same thing that you did to get it this far, to get it this far by remembering this part of it, mm -hmm. by remembering the vibrational alignment part of it, by talking to yourself about what you want and why you want it okay. by focusing upon the thing that you can have right now, not the thing that you don't have right now. In other words, by making it unconditional, by making it emotional, by focusing upon the aspects of it that you can accomplish because most people want a relationship to display itself in all of these ways in order to feel this way. Mm -hmm. You're going to discover how feeling this way will cause it to display in all of these ways. So you just keep beating whatever drum you need to beat in order to keep yourself feeling that making lists of things that you appreciate about her and about yourself and about the two of you together is the precise process that we would apply right now okay. because when you activate that vibration within you you'll be even more irresistible awesome that's what attraction <laughs> is that's what it is enough thank you really good yeah. take it easy I just want to first thank Esther for your life's work. It is miraculous and amazing. And We're all in this together, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yeah. Uh, a lot of my questions have been answered, of course, already. I've been checking them off my list, been making the list for over a month and connecting with you before this physical connection. And I just love it all. You mentioned earlier about the hard cases in terms of relationships, the gift, in terms of the, the gifts, gifts they give to you, the gifts of the hard cases. And we all know about that. You're really interesting people. <laughs> Humans. In that you like hard <laughs> until you don't. Amen. In other words, <laughs> you really like to sharpen your skills. You like to become adept you like to become precise you like to become expanded and evolved but it is so interesting that you're so willing to do it the hard way and make the easy way the hard way and we think it's just the unfamiliar that once you get the hang of how easy it is to be unconditional in your alignment and then the leverage that you enlist you'll find yourself finding humor in how difficult you have been making things that don't need to be difficult yes yes the leverage is what I wanted to talk to you about just nearly exactly a year ago. My father passed away and in my personal experience with my relationship with him, it was what I would have termed my entire first 52 years, a hard case. And 
the leverage of what I have now with him is just incredible. I have spent the last year taking some time to truly go within and make that connection and continue that connection. And he's connecting me with many other deceased loved ones. And so it turns out he didn't pass away at all. No, not at all. <laughs> I've hardly grieved in the traditional way. I've had no need to do that. Anytime that I've had tears of this loss and missing him, I can feel him saying, what are you talking about? You know, I'm right here. It's like I immediately stop crying and I just, he's there. Esther said to her father when he made his transition, because for a few nights she could really hear him. And she was just sort of getting to know his new vibrational stance. And one night she couldn't find anything to talk to him about. It was odd. She was in bed. She couldn't think of anything to talk to him about. And she could feel the sharpness of the focus of him diminishing. And so she said in a sort of rushed dialogue, Daddy, I don't want to say goodbye. And he said, well, kiddo, then let's just keep saying hello. You don't have to keep me in conversation to make sure that I stick around. It isn't like that. It's that when you focus, on something that is meaningfully pertaining to that, then that energy joins you for the conversation. You see what we're getting at? Mm -hmm. Esther's been catching these glimpses of really understanding path of least resistance and really understanding the unconditional part of it, the unconditional, the finding, the feeling of it, the finding the vibration of it, feeling the comfort of it, the satisfaction of it, the well being of it. And then she catches these little glimpses where the whole world is doing what she's doing. They've found this way to be in alignment. And then law of attraction just matches you up in meaningful ways. You take a little ride with this one, a little ride with that one, a little ride with this one, a little ride with that one, but not ever one long ride with one consciousness. It's the path of least resistance. It's the hooking up with what is most significant for you here and now. And so these dearly not departed, they sort of weave in and out in those meaningful ways with you. And you're realizing that, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. So, so what I think we could all really benefit from right now is a conversation about how to blend that understanding of, I mean, this is a blend what understanding the understanding of this relationship that I have with my father and others, others, that leverage, it's blissful. It's pure positive energy. It's love. It's beyond anything that I don't know if we ever could have had it here and now, but I want, you like, are having it here and now. Yes. You're I, having it I'm here talking about in physical relationships here and now, like, can we draw from that? I don't know. Just, well, maybe not, but who cares? Are you saying that you want another physical being to provide for you what the non-physical is providing? And the question is why? No, I want to blend the physical relationships that are here and now in the way that I feel like I have with that leverage, with that connection with non-physical. But why? I, That's I just, like saying there's this really great place that I go to eat and over there it's different, but I want over there to be just like this really great place that I go to eat and we say just go over there and eat <laughs> don't need everything to be everything just go get whatever you need wherever it is and let non-physical be that source of alignment and worthiness and well-being and then have your physical relationships in fact that's the thing that has most gone wrong with people who are unhappy is that they're trying to get the humans to do something that yes. non-physical is there to do. Yep. Ooh, isn't that nice to know? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. My next thought is I have been practicing a mantra that is just, it's magical. It works so well in the moment and it works when I have dark negative thoughts and I just really come to the grip of I say to myself in love is transforming this. I believe that. So you find well, not a love, love and it distracts you from whatever that is. I truly feel that love is transforming this, whatever yeah. the, whatever the dark well, thought that's is. That's a really good expectation yeah. to hold. Yeah, it works. And you've it's practiced magic. it enough. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But eliminate dark from your vocabulary. No reason in keeping that active.
Appreciate that. Yeah. It's like throwing junk on your trail that you got to trip over. Stop throwing junk on your trail. And after a while, there won't be any junk on your trail. It'll be smooth passage into alignment over and over and over and over and over again. Yes. Last time I was here, you referenced something that's near and dear to me. We come from a location where uh, hometown of Neil Armstrong, first man on the moon. And you referenced the resistance of launching into space and how it's this intense resistance. And then you break Right to the, the atmosphere, atmosphere into non-resistance yes yeah. and you've seen the movies haven't you yes that was huge for me and it really spoke to me personally and I, I i really loved that did neil armstrong really walk on the moon <laughs> who cares such a controversy <laughs> exactly yes yeah i'll go with that enough enough thank you wonderful